Some of you have asked if you can cut or split video clips that you've imported into Adobe Animate. The answer is yes, but it requires a bit of a workaround involving symbols. To keep this video short, I'm going to assume that you understand the fundamentals of symbols, like the fact that symbols have their own separate timeline, and that you know how to control the symbols timeline using keyframes. If you're not familiar with symbols, I'd recommend watching my beginner and intermediate symbol tutorials before watching the rest of this video. With that said, I've already imported a video and placed it on the timeline. The problem, as many of you have pointed out, is that you can't directly control the video's playback. For example, keyframes don't work the way that they normally would. However, I found that we can get around that by putting the video inside a symbol. To do that, I'll select the video, go up to modify, and select convert to symbol. We'll name this video, and making sure that graphic symbol is selected, click OK. This pop-up basically checks if you want to automatically add frames to your symbols timeline to fit the entire video. We do want that, so I'll click yes. If you click no for some reason, or if your video isn't playing on the main timeline, you can do this manually by double-clicking on the symbol to open it, and adding frames until the symbol plays through, just by using the add frames button. With that done, we'll exit the symbol and go back to the main timeline by clicking on scene 1 in the navigation bar. Here on the main timeline, you can see that the video plays normally. But if I select it, you can see in the properties panel that I'm actually selecting the symbol, which acts like a container that lets us control the video's playback indirectly. What this means is that we can now use keyframes as we normally would with a symbol, like selecting a starting frame, or changing the playback to plain reverse, or play single frame. For example, I could create a new keyframe and then select it and go to the properties panel and tell the symbol to play single frame starting from frame 50. This should pause the video at frame 50 when we reach the new keyframe. Let's press play and see if it works. And it works exactly as we expected. The video now plays normally then jumps to frame 50 and pauses. We could keep going by adding more keyframes and setting different starting frames and even telling the video to play in reverse, for example, but I think that you guys get the idea. Now obviously this workaround is not meant to replace video editing software, but I find that it comes in handy when I want to make small changes quickly. If you have more questions or you want me to make a video about something specific, let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Dab.